Hello, Mech Warriors. Welcome to the special edition of my Got Kills edition, Mechs Pushing Daisies. And in this edition, I'm doing a review of the four mechs that I'm using in this regard. The Sun Spider DP Special Variant, the Sun Spider C, the Sun Spider A, and of course, my favorite one, which is the Sun Spider Ambush. And in this beginning, we will talk about this particular mech, the Sun Spider C, which was by far and away the very first one that I ever picked out. The Sun Spider C holds a special place because I originally had this set up with two SRM6s and four LRM15s. Then I went to two LRM15s, two LRM20s, and once again two SRM6s, and then I went back and forth with different things and then trying different things along the way. And along the way I came out with a variable build which is now um, fairly similar to what my Sun Spider A is. But I kept evolving the Sun Spider C until I came up with this variant here. And in this variant here, this is a full ATM build. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this has four ATM 9s on board. Now you could go four ATM 6s and do fairly well, but four ATM 9s still has an amazing heat management. It's absolutely amazing. Just wonderful. I mean, look at it. 1.41. It says it has a firepower of 84. And if you've seen any one of my videos about sun spiders, you know that's not accurate. Um, it's accurate from a point of view. But when they're giving a rating for the lasers, they're always giving the rating of the lasers in optimum range. So why aren't they doing it for the missiles at optimum range? I don't understand. But I will tell you that each one of these in optimum range does 22 damage. So that's 88 alone, which is higher than the rated firepower of 84. Not to mention, you still have 11 to throw on top of that 88, which makes it 99. So now you have a firepower of 99. Wow. Now, if you don't mind sacrificing some heat management, you can do two heavy medium lasers and that'll give you a combined 20 on top of the 88 which makes 108 for your alpha strike or your firepower at optimum range that is massive and you still have a pretty decent heat management so what are we getting out of this well first of all you're getting a lot a hodgepodge of different things here you're getting the original c to torsos left and right and then of course the center torso and then on this one, you're getting the B arms. So the B arms give you two energy points and then two missile points. And then there's the two missile points in the main. So for firepower, you've got a pretty good amount of uh, firepower you can put out. You can either cycle these or alpha strike them. I prefer to alpha strike them because with a heat management of 141, I can fire these two before I get into overheat. By the time they cool down and I can fire them again, I'm still below the threshold of 100% heat. You can't do it a third time in the same amount of period though. So you gotta be careful with that. And if you're looking for an alternate build for this, I would consider doing two ATM nines and two ATM sixes, and then it'll create a cyclic fe uh, feature where it'll fire all four, and then the ATM six will, will fire, and then the ATM nines will fire, and so on and so forth. And that gives you a good cyclic, not to mention allows you to have a little bit better heat management and you can put more ammo on board. Now the ammo I have on here, I've got four, five, six, seven tons of ammo. It's not going to last forever, so you got to think about that in, in the future. So what do we got here? So we got a base armor plus seven and we've got plus ten on the armor here and another plus ten and guess what? Plus seven. And no head because we're married. But the center torso, we're getting plus 10 also. And then the legs, I think, is like uh, nothing mentioned here. So you have a 1.41 heat management, a firepower of 84, but realistically it's eight, it's a uh, uh, 99. And then you also have a speed of 81. Now on all these mechs, they have different... Uh, um, skills and we'll just leave that to the uh, quick builds that I've done videos about in the past moving on 
Next, we have the Sun Spider Ambush. And the Ambush is quite a special mech between um, the all the Sun Spiders. And what I mean by that is it's the only Sun Spider you can buy anywhere where you get two energy points in each torso. Now, originally, this comes with two ballistics, but that's not going to work for me. And I purchased this mech with real money just for the exact purpose of wanting this particular build. I was such a fan of the Sun Spiders, I knew exactly what I was going to do. The moment I purchased this mech, I went ahead and took the uh, ballistics off and threw on uh, two missile points on each torso, or each arm, excuse me. <clears throat> and I've played around with doing with uh, clan LRMs and uh, clan ATMs. I've even done SRM6s on here a couple times. Uh, never streaks because I don't believe in streaks. I don't like a weapon system you can't fire unless you have a lock because I like to dumb fire my weapons. I'm a rebel. So let me show you this build. So I have four LRM15s with Artemis which means it's a tighter-knit cl cluster. And the big advantage that uh, LRMs with Artemis have is you get the, um, the tighter cluster of the weapons with the indirect fire, which really makes um, it kind of like a little bit of the best of both worlds. It's everything that an ATM weapon is plus an LRM with the exceptions of the amount of damage each missile does. But because it is a tighter cluster and you can go indirect fire, it actually does more damage when you really think about it than ATMs do. ATMs are a direct fire, kind of like a guided ballistic weapon. We'll talk about that more later on as we go. So anyways, this is um, giving you the ability of having four energy points. So I've got four energy points, I've got four missile points, and I've got uh, seven tons of ammo just like the previous uh, Sun Spider C. But the Sun Spider C is a uh, ATM build and this is an LRM build. Between the two, it's a toss up which one has more damage in, in match play. I'm so good with either one, you know, sometimes I have better matches in one versus the other. But this one has a heat management of 1 2 1 because it has the four um, energy points and then. Um, but if it only had the two energy points, the heat management would be like 136, I think it is. So it has pretty decent heat management. The firepower on this, what it says, 84 is what it is. That's all there is, 84. And what are we getting out of this mech? Well, we're getting plus 7 here, just like before. Uh, we're getting nothing here, no head, married life, nothing here. And then plus 7 again. And the seven center torso is plus 10. So we're not getting any of the major quirks or features that you would normally get, but you are building, you're able to have a mech you can field to battle that does more of, uh, than any of the other Sun Spiders in its class because you get these nice uh, energy points and they're a decent position on the mech. When you look at the, the position, they're right almost in line with the cockpit, so almost what you can see you can kill. And that's part of the reason I run ATMs on these mechs from time to time. So this mech gets ATM or LRM. Um, it goes back and forth. And I, um, I really have some really successful matches going both directions. It's easy. Next, we have the Sun Spider A. Now, this is one of the few mechs I have that has a weird paint job compared to the other ones. Now, the Ambush has the original paint scheme that it comes with, um, with the one ex caveat. I added darker pigment to the uh, original body. And the reason I went with the original pigment, not only is it cool, but because people see it and they automatically assume it's a ballistics build. They never consider that it's either an ATM build or an, or an LRM build. It never even crosses their mind until it's far, far too late. So this guy here is all LRM. And what is this one doing? This build it was what I was trying to achieve that was achieved by getting the ambush. It's a little bit of the both of the better of the worlds. This, um, I run this one exclusively as an LRM boat. I've got three LRM 20s with Artemis and three ER medium lasers and one hell of a cool paint job. And if you like woodworking like I do, and I do a lot of woodworking, you can really appreciate this look. I really love how the greens come in and stuff. That is just sick. 
Uh, yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Makes it look like it's made out of a burnt mahogany uh, with a uh, light stain it's applied to it or maybe like an oak. Um, or even, um, this is, it has w way too many ripples in it to be a cherry, but I have some nice cherry in the garage that I'm drying out and getting ready to use to make, uh, maybe a small coffee table with. But, yeah, this is beautiful. So, as I mentioned, three LRM20s with Artemis. And then, this also has three ER medium lasers, and it has laser AMS. What are we getting for ammo? Well, it's not a lot. Uh, we've got uh, seven tons, just like the previous two mechs, the Ambush and uh, the Sun Spider C. But this one also has laser AMS on board, which is like free armor in my opinion. The heat management on this is 1.28, which is better than the um, Ambush, uh, which is 1.21, but not near as good as it is on the um, uh, Sun Spider C, which is sitting at 1.41. But this one still delivers a lot of damage. And I would argue that this one probably is really close to the best one of the, the group. I just like the versatility of the ambush just a little bit better. Because the ambush always has the option for four energy points. You don't have to depend on missiles. And you have really good defensive quarter having that option. So yeah, this is probably second place. What are we getting? Plus seven armor, torso yaw, uh, plus five. And we're also getting base armor, plus 10, no head. And we're getting plus 10 here, and I think we're getting plus seven again. Now the center torso is also giving us plus 10, but I have, you know, I'm taking advantage of whatever I can on this. Heat management, as I mentioned, is 1.28. Firepower is 78, and it's solid and then 81 kph on the speed. So this is a really versatile mech and I really like this one. And next I'll be showing you my last one. And here we have the last one on the list. We have the Sun Spider D and this is the Platinum Edition, but I've changed the paint scheme because I didn't like the Platinum paint job. It just made it too uh, visible on the battlefield, I don't know. But this has definitely got its own uh, distinct panel, uh, panel. Now, like the Sun Spider C, it has a very similar layout. The Sun Spider C, as you remember, has two ER medium lasers and four ATM 9s. This, on the other hand, has two ER medium lasers and four LRM 20s. And a quite snazzy build paint job. This originally, uh, this paint job on most of my mechs usually reflects that it's an ATM build. And I tried this as an ATM build, but I wanted to have something that was very distinct and different from the Sun Spider C, because there's no point in having a, uh, a redundancy unless it's the exact same mech. So let's take a look at this guy. So this one is just four LRM-20s, non-Artemis. There simply isn't enough room or weight that you can put into it to support the Artemis. But I still have some really, really amazing matches with this guy here. So theoretically, if I wanted to, I could go with four LRM-15s with Artemis, and that would probably work. But I already have that on the Ambush, and the Ambush has better featuring out of it because it has um, two additional e, um, ER medium lasers. This one has two ER medium lasers total. So what am I getting out of this one? Well, I'm getting a better heat management than I would on the um, ambush. I've got a ha heat management of 1.35, which puts it in second place for the best heat management, which is given to the Sun Spider C. The firepower on this one is 92. Wow. And the speed is, once again, 81, just like everything else. Now, as far as the overall features go, you're not getting a lot of this. Plus 7 here. Um, plus 10. No head, because that's married life and uh, plus 10 and then once again plus 7 and once again plus 10. So you're not getting a lot of quirks out of this but you have to depend on the skills. Now I'm going to show you the skills which pretty much goes in line with most of the other uh, mechs in this grouping of ambush of uh, sun spiders. So usually I max out on range and I've got a pretty good variance of uh, heat generation 
Um, all of them have full velocity missile features, uh, skeletal density armor hardening, uh, some reinforced casing, definitely overheat damage protection. Uh, the uh, Sun Spider um, A has AMS, so it has an AMS overload. None of my Sun Spiders have uh, NARC, so it's nothing to even talk about. Um, because uh, this is a uh, LRM boat, it does have target decay, but on my ATM builds, it does not. So the Sun Spider C does not have uh, target decay because it doesn't matter. It doesn't have indirect fire, so it's, I'm not going to benefit from it. My, my teammates might benefit from it if they have missiles, but missile boats are few and far between. I feel like we're kind of almost like unicorns in the battlefield. But uh, definitely cool run, heat containment. Some of them have target decay or target info gathering and seismic sensor, but specifically just for the seismic. I'm not running it because I wanted to put that into other points. And usually if I have this, uh, it's usually it's it's because it's an ATM build. And then I take that fifth node that I would normally have into this and put that into the advanced zoom. It just kind of works out that way. So if it's an LRM boat, the first thing I lose is seismic sensor and an advanced zoom. And I put those five points into target decay because I do absolutely want to have radar deprivation. I want to, them to lose target as soon as I go into cover. And all of them have two cool shots in a UAV. So anyway, I hope you like the uh, kill matches coming up showing uh, the uh, mechs pushing daisies. And I hope you uh, like these builds. You can see why I'm really having a good time with these builds. And, you know, the best part about this game, I think, is building something that nobody else has or has done. It's, it's, it's really kind of endearing when I see people on the battlefield driving the builds that I've come up with. And the reason I know that these are builds that I've come up with is because I've never seen them anywhere else. Up until uh, a year ago, nobody had ever been doing the builds that I've been doing. And now that I see that people are doing them, I don't feel any kind of jealousy whatsoever. It's kind of more like admiration. And some of the people that uh, um, subscribe to the channel, they uh, have done the builds and said, man, this really does work out. You know, they've told me great things about it. And I've heard people talk about it in match play and stuff. And it's really cool. You know, it's really cool to see people, you know, copy the designs that I've come with. I really like that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't have any... Uh, um, disgruntled feeling about it one way or the other and uh, sometimes I've even seen people with the exact same build and the paint job and I'm like wait am I somehow in gameplay right now did somebody hack my account I don't know anyway I hope to see you on the battlefield and uh, keep playing the game it's a great feeling don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>
Oh, uh, poor Echo is legged. We're gonna rain on Fox. New target acquired. Looks like only half of the enemies remain. Get the leg on the right leg, right leg. Right leg. Critical damage. Rain on Indigo. New target acquired. Alpha's cord really bad. He's one shot. Or less. New target acquired. They're gonna rain on Kilo. Kilo's getting jacked up by me. Yeah, there's somebody in Echo 5, I think, a heavy mech. Target acquired. Target yeah, Indigo, I'm out of missiles, damn it. So much for that guy. Kilo's almost done. He's dead. Bravo's one shot almost. Sorry about those missiles, those were intended for the guy. Uh, somebody kill the 7A, please. Destroyed. Uh, last guy's a sniper. Yeah. There he is. Target He's gone. Now they dropped down. The warthog dropped. All his friends went down. Not for long. Yep. Be a lot of dead assaults in a moment. Yeah, he's got free Wi Fi. Oh, he's got a light with too. Blue target acquired. And the light's got free Wi Fi. He's almost legged. He's legged. Make it a rein on Caleb. K's left uh, torso's open. He's about to not have a left torso. Kilo's dead, I think. Target yep. Destroyed. There's the wedding bells. Activated. 
Yep, they're gonna come and finish us off. Great job. Alpha's got a lot of internal damage. Alpha's uh, left torso is open. Red. There's an Alpha XL check. We're gonna rain on Alpha. Alpha probably does not want to play. Well, Alpha's trying to get outside if that means anything. He didn't make it. How's that wrapping going over there? I'm gonna join you over here near uh, Echo Six. Fuck seven area. Get back to two LDX twenty. Just a minute. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark on the catapult. Yeah. Oh, he's all cored up. Die will. Delta. Is dead. Acquired. I'm gonna rain on Alpha. Roger. He's leg. Nice, nice, nice. One more, one more. He's dead. You got another guy out there with you. I like this move. Try to push Let's up. Careful. You should come in with us. I'm feeling totally useless. <laughs> Target acquired. There's another one. I'm just gonna line them up right here. Yeager. XL oh, check. One more hit. Nice. That's strong. He's got a friend with him out there. XL check. Nice. One more, one more. Hit him in the chest. New target acquired. Need help with golf if you can? Oh, no, you can. New target acquired. Oh, Merry Christmas! You're gonna rain on Lima. And his left leg is almost gone. It is gone. Delta's in the open. I'm gonna rain on Delta. Delta's left leg is almost gone. I'm gonna rain on H. 
Left course ONH. Acquired. Merry Christmas. They're just lining him up over there. Hit him in the chest. Need help with golf if you can? Oh, no, you can. Looks like our other targets near Fox 4, Echo 4. Target destroyed. Left, left target Fox 4, right behind you guys. Target acquired. A lot of internal damage, but that's about it. Reminds me of a joke. Target spotted. On strut sticks. This locust re reminds me of the Ethiopian joke. What's the fastest animal in the world? Ethiopian chicken. Bravo's jacked up. Oh, thank you for the re free Wi-Fi. Bravo's in the basement. Left torso is open. Uh, we got a contact at uh, Echo 4, and we got another guy behind us at Charlie 3. Target acquired. Uh, Bravo 4 contacts moving towards uh, Charlie 5. Maybe Bravo 5. Target destroyed. 